question, what will it take to pass a bill that largely relies on taxpayer money to renovate AmFam Field? CBS 58 Capital correspondent Emily Fannin has more on why we could be going into extra innings at the Capitol. Lawmakers are on the cusp of striking a deal to ensure the Brewers stay in Milwaukee until 2050, but the bill is currently stuck in the ninth inning. I'm not going to tell you anybody loves it. On Wednesday, the Joint Finance Committee voted 15 to 1 to advance the funding proposal to the state Senate. Now the next hurdle is securing 17 votes on the floor. Senator Mary Falskowski, a Republican who represents the Northwoods, says she'll vote for the bill despite it being a tough decision. I don't think we should be in the stadium business, but this is the deck of cards we're dealt. It's a hard sell back in my district because we have to educate our constituency that we own that stadium. Not all Senate Republicans are on board, which means the GOP-controlled chamber may have to rely on Democratic votes. And right now, there's not too many to choose from. So far, the only yes is me. After weeks of public hearings and closed-door meetings, the bill to fund repairs at the Brewers Stadium was amended on Tuesday in hopes to win more support. The package now requires the state to pitch in nearly $383 million. That's almost $30 million less than the original bill. The Brewers would also contribute $10 million more for a grand total of $110 million. And Milwaukee and Milwaukee County will pay $135 million over the 27-year lease. I think we'll get there. Also added to the bill was a $2 ticket tax on non-brewers events and $8 on suite and box tickets. There will also be a review of the stadium district board's finances and require a report on redevelopment around the stadium. Still, some lawmakers wanted to see more. The city and the county are asked to pay for the stadium, but they don't get one seat on the board. That's unfair. We're told this bill will be on the Senate floor on Tuesday, which means there's still plenty of time to convince some lawmakers who are not quite there yet. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.